the female farmer Srimati Anita and male farmer Sri Ram Kumar. For pulses, for pulses, the award is being given to the Jharkhand state. The award will be received by the Secretary Agriculture, the Director Agriculture, Female farmer, Srimati Simu Sardar. And male farmer, Shri Damodar Chaudhary. For course serial, the Krishi Karman Award 2011-2012 goes to Uttar Pradesh. To receive the award, the Agriculture Minister, Kumar Anand Singh, Director of Agriculture. Female farmer, Srimati Sharda Devi. And Shri Jabbu Lal. We now present the commendation awards that are being given to those states who have recorded higher production and productivity in 2011-12 as compared to their highest in the previous five years on relative performance and other indicators who could not get the Krishi Karman Awards. There are 10 awards in this category, comprises of a citation and a cash award of 25 lakhs each. The commendation award in the total food grains category are Punjab and Rajasthan. To receive the award on behalf of the state of Punjab, I invite the Financial Commissioner and Director of Agriculture, Government of Punjab, On behalf of Rajasthan, we have the Agriculture Minister, Shri Harji Ram Burdak, and Principal Secretary, Agriculture, coming up to receive the award for Total Food Grains Category 1. These are commendation awards, 25 lakh rupees. Commendation award, Total Food Grains Category 2. The states are Gujarat and Uttarakhand. To receive the award for Gujarat is the Agriculture Minister of Gujarat, Sri Babu Bhai Bhokriya, and the Director, Agriculture. On behalf of the government of Uttarakhand, the award is being received by Agriculture Minister Dr. Harak Singh Rawat along with his Principal Secretary, Agriculture. The Krishi Karman Commendation Award for Total Food Grain Production Category 3 are being given to Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura and Mizoram. To receive the award on behalf of the government of Arunachal Pradesh, we call upon the Agriculture Minister, Sri Setong Sena, and the Commissioner comes Secretary, Agriculture. From Tripura, the award will be received by Agriculture Minister, Sri Agore Dev Varman, 
and additional Chief Secretary, Agriculture. To receive the award on behalf of the Government of Mizoram are the Agriculture Minister, Sri Lian Selova, and his Principal Secretary, Agriculture. The Commendation Award for Wheat goes to Himachal Pradesh, and this award is being received by Sri Sujan Singh Pathania, Agriculture Minister, and the additional Chief Secretary, Agriculture. In the category of Pulses, the Commendation Award is being given to West Bengal and Assam. From West Bengal, we have Sri Arup Ray, Minister in Charge of Agriculture Marketing, to receive the award along with Secretary Agriculture. <laughs> On behalf of Assam, to take the award is Agriculture Minister Sri Nilamani Sen Deka and his Agriculture Production Commissioner. We thank the Honorable Rashtrapati Ji for giving away the awards and request him now to please address the gathering. Sri Sharad Pawar Ji, Minister of Agriculture, Senior Leader Sri L. K. Adpani, Srimati Shushma Swaraj, Leader of the Opposition in Lok Sabha, Sri Tari Kanwar, Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Processing Industries, Sri Bhupinder Singh Huda, Chief Minister Haryana, Sri Sibraj Singh Chauhan, Chief Minister Madhya Pradesh, Sri Ibobi Singh, Chief Minister Manipur, Sri Ashish Bahuguna, Secretary, Sri Siraj Yul Hassan, Additional Secretary, Department of Agriculture Cooperation, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present amidst you this morning in the function of distributing the Krishi Karman Awards for the year 2011-12 to state governments for exemplary performance in increasing food grain production. It is heartening to note that the record production achieved in 2011-12 was substantially broad-based, covering over two-thirds of the total cropped areas in 18 states of the country. This is indeed an unique, laudable achievement. I congratulate the Union Agriculture Minister, Sharad Pawarji, for taking this initiative for setting up these awards. These have been received enthusiastically by farmers and the state extension machinery as reflected in the record food grain production over two consecutive years in 2010-11 and 2011-12. The achievement is all the more significant considering that a set of new states like Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Tamil Nadu, Nagaland and Manipur have been awarded this year. Agriculture is a challenging sector which is critically dependent on climatic factors and availability of the natural resources. The challenge is accentuated by the continuously rising pressure of demand for the food, fodder, fiber, fuel, and fertilizer. There is greater need today for achieving higher production in an environmentally sustainable manner. Under these circumstances, 
It is to the credit of our scientists and stakeholders, both in the public and private sectors, that better technology to address the challenges are being developed and innovatively promoted amongst the farmers to derive optimal returns from the available resources. 